Marad. Okay, I like Marad. Marad actually has actually been seen a lot of play in, in other regions. So the key for him is once he gets to late game, he can easily outpoke the Violet and just harass um, Allegiant. So they have to get him to his late game power spike because he's so good and dangerous in late game. That temporal turbulence can just shred an entire team if yeah. he's allowed to. If they group up accordingly. Oh, Lindis instead. I, I don't. And this is a solid composition. This, this is, is a fine. solid yeah. composition from Toxic. Like, there's nothing I outright dislike about this. They have good sustainability. They have good poke. They have a decent amount of tankiness. They have solid early game damage. But so where my my only issue lies is that side tower or that dragon lane tower and now on the side mts is here gladi blocking for the team but look at the way they're able to keep the dragon there wow. and able to take it was alg a kill to follow up the exuberance is chasing and there's the oh. flicker as well basic is in trouble can they get the kill yes they do and hoon falls to follow that's the allegiance that we know that synergy that shot call sleepy taking a dragon oh rocker you're gonna fall here buddy paint but it was still incredibly effective <laughs> because it just goes to show that once you have this sort of pattern set up it's absolutely Absolutely uh, beautiful what you can accomplish. And we do have the pickup there on Dahoon to start this off. Rest is surviving through all this. The shock goes on through. Allegiance once more picks up the dragon. And look at the damage from MTS. The heal is forced to pop. Sleepy's gonna be the target. The Ryu is there as well. And now Bobo is getting chunked. The rocker in the flank. And we have KO from the side coming in through the mid as well. And that is going to be four quick kills for Allegiance. Neo, make it five. There's yeah, the ace. Toxic. We're able to get the kills, but ALG turns it around. Nice rotation. KO coming to the nick of time. I feel like they need to try and snipe out this dragon right now. Basic's gonna look to oh. do, and he does! Hey! You called it, Paul. Beautiful play by Basic there. Then they might potentially get this mid tower, actually, but KO's gonna come right into time, but he's getting focused on pretty hard right now. The focus is there, but Sleepy with the counter initiation and the exuberance pulling it back with the dark minions as well. Neo is going to be the target, getting oh so low. Sleepy with the pick, but Hoon on the side, nicely done. The shock is there. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Over the wall, and that is going to be the disengagement from Allegiance. Oh, oh. rest. Just a second too late right there. And in the mid, Sleepy and MTS taking it. Too toxic. The flank now coming in from Rocker. He oh. does have the big boy gun on the side, getting two kills. The beautiful flank there from Allegiance. They are getting pressure value kills, towers. Pick up these kills easily and look at that bobo oh, again bobo, dr no. minion he's out bobo more no like flicker. oh no that was not the time to go in up against amina what were you thinking wow oh. rocker is just oh. going off here but he did not escape the tower's wrath and every single week, all these teams are going to get better. Uh, you know, Toxic here in week number three is not the Toxic that's going to be back in week number five or six. Rest is forced to burn this flicker because Toxic, there are no slouches at all. I mean, I say that as the flank comes in and Allegiance absolutely destroys them in the mid game. Two kills going their way. Protect against his physical damage. And this is what I talk about, the crash of ALG. While it looked like they were just sort of messing around in the jungle the whole time, they simultaneously had all three waves go in in unison. The shot to follow up is not oh going to be nearly God. enough here from Toxic because every single member is going to fall except for Hoon who's chilling in the base. All three towers fall, all four heroes fall, and that's the core. GG Allegiance take game number one. Interesting. What a Ardrin world. here what instead a world in. of Maganga. I wonder what well, they will play. Actually, no. Why don't I talk about Ganga? There's Liliana. Oh, wait, we have a Liliana. Yeah, we're talking about you can pick Iri or Scud you, you, here. Or even Ryoma. Ryoma would be really solid, too, because yeah, that's, more that's a lot of stun. Because don't forget, Pyrrha has four sentry. It's a little owls that fly that can stun you as well. So she actually has good CC that you can combo with an Iri or Ryoma. So I feel like Ryoma or Iri would make the most sense here. This last. KO, come on. No, you want to play Ryoma. He, well, either way, he gets a but highly mobile, highly damage. Either way, they're totally fine. Yeah, Iri makes more sense. Iri's better because you can yeah. change your combo. You can change your CC really, really well. There it is. Iri it is. Gets locked in as the final pick for Allegiance. Oh, and it's now. The blue team. Quite having enough damage here to finish up those kills. Were ALG in the middle, though. Rocker on Morim, Morin is. I like how he just totally ignores the hissy fit. He just doesn't care. He can sustain through that in the mid still. Oh, though. I may have spoken too soon nice because uh, combo. that Hoon Neo combo there. Hoon threw cursed, cursed of death there out at him, landed the stun, and then Neo fought with the stun and, and secured the kill. Neo is looking like a whole different player here in this game, but who might have overstepped as MTS is going in, trying to chase the bullet storm is not enough, and dodging the spear, nicely done there from MTS. We talk about him being one of the most mechanically gifted. Rest just moved in, Sleepy and MTS, I believe, are, are planning to join them soon. 
Uh, and also joining uh, the fray is all of Allegiance here in the top lane. Because, oh, the oh. Agnes Crash will see me getting saved there nicely on the Angelus Splendor, but the Palm stuns. Oh, chaining that off. Beautifully done. The spear to follow up from the Valheim initiation. Hoon almost able to instantly shred KO. But Rest and Steepy are going to be able to get this tower there. So really nice. You can see the healing light there. Look at his re-rotation down back in there. Whoa. The shock is going in though, trying to disrupt it, but too little, too late. The kill coming out from Allegiance. They just entry as well, trying to find Proxter. The follow up. Stun is there. Bobo is marching all the way in, but the Nature's Rally, the Malleus to follow oh, up. No, so Bobo. tanky though, but look at the counter initiation trying to take this with the hissy fit, but the heal is forced to be popped. The Nature's to see oh, basic. Basic. You did the drill. Oh no! As we just getting caught off right now, that is basic actually not going to fall. He does have. The light oh, of the additional NTS. health, but oh man, just the burst damage from Allegiance oh, coming in right now. The Angelic rocker. Splendor Neo getting canceled. Chant. MTS, nice job jumping in there as Irie getting the kill. Look at that Hoon. Oh, he jumps away just in time, but Proxer, you're in trouble. You jump in with your shock, and now you have no escape, and you're gonna fall as well. Zenio ult did end up getting canceled there. The trying to clean up this last minion is toxic, but Bobo skating on to his death. The great roller derby in the sky, but I don't think that's gonna happen as Rocker is advancing in onto the core. There's the magnetic storm trying to split them up. The heal going in. Neo getting absolutely chunked. Sleepy has reached critical mass, and that's GG. Game number two going to ALG.